Are you going to say hello to your aunties? Oh, it's really bright. It looks really, really bright in this area. <laughs> not sure why. It makes her look really pale when she's not really pale. Well, he's having a first holiday, aren't he? Say yay, first holiday. First holiday for Molly. We're going the caravan. Yay! And we are right at the top of England. We are off. We spent the night here in the Lake District um, in a caravan park. We are in our caravan. Um, and we spent the night here. And then today we are off again to um, the top of England at Hadrian's Wall. Hadrian's Wall is also known as the Roman Wall. It was built by the Romans when the Romans occupied Britannia. And... Um, and um, there's just lots of archaeological digs, archaeological sites all up around there. We went, we came up here probably, I don't know, 10 years ago. I can't remember. I don't want to remember. Well, my dad, um, this was one of his last wishes, was to come to Hadrian's Wall. So um, he loved the Romans as well, archaeology, all that stuff. And so does on my middle daughter. Um I love all that sort of stuff and uh so we came up then and uh we hadn't so we haven't been here for this long and I said to Russell I, you know let's just go up there again Russell's got the week off work so um yeah we're in a caravan and we're gonna go up there for the week and this time I thought I'd bring the Molly along so we have our little routines and um why Russ is having it I always have a shower in the night Russ always has showers in the morning so why he has his shower I pack the bed away that the bed is made up here. So I pack the bed away and um, I sit and I take my tablets and out then and he always likes to take the dog for a walk. So um, that's what he does first thing in the morning and potters around and does all his little bits. I only have to put the bed up and drink my coffee. That's all I have to do. <laughs> so that's, that's neat. <laughs> And then we're going to go for breakfast and um, <laughs> I thought you were going to fall off my lap then for a minute. And um, yeah, go for breakfast and then head on. It's not very, we don't have to drive very far, but then we can get to the site proper and settle. This was just like an overnight stop. Um, but the next one, we're staying there for the week so we can just you know, get us, get the caravan organised, get it sorted, so, and then we can go off and do things every day. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Whereas when we have the camper, you know, we have to pack the camper up in the morning and um, your hair needs a brush. Look at that. So it needs brushing. It does. Um, we had to pack the camper. Everybody, you know, we had to then be organised and pack the camper up. And so the dog walking started it from the camper really because Russ had to move on out of the way so I could pack the bed and everything away so he would go and take Millie for a walk I would pack the bed away then and put the drink put the kettle on get the coffees ready um, ready for when he came back so that's how like our routine started like that because you know if it's raining in the morning I didn't want to walk Millie <laughs> and in the camper we were so squished you know so if it poured down with rain it, and you came back with your coat soaking wet um, like we did last night here at least here we can hang it in the toilet room <clears throat> but we didn't have anywhere in the camper so we did campering for something like eight years eight years i think eight years six or seven eight yeah eight years and um, we did campering and i loved it it was my it was my um my vehicle and i used daily Although I didn't use daily because I don't go out daily, but it was my vehicle. And then last year I kind of, you know, kind of decided that I'd had enough and I wanted a bit more space, getting a bit older. I need to stretch my legs out really, because if I needed to stretch my legs out in the camper, I had to, we had to get the bed out and then Russ had to sit on an, on an uncomfortable chair. <laughs> Which he did, which he did, bless him. But I don't know if anybody else with fibro, you have to put your legs up. I have to put my legs up. So anyway, I'm going to take my meds now and um, get some breakfast for you as well. Yes. She uh, is loving it, aren't you? Hey, you loving it in here? 
Are you loving it? We're going to get your toys out in a minute, aren't we? Watching Millie. Millie's out here and he's playing with her ball. Here she is. And it says, it's very, very hot. It is. Where are we? We're near Carlisle. Carlisle. Not very far away from Carlisle. And there's our little caravan. It's a little cutie. Hey? Yeah. What can you see? So, Millie's got a ball and we've been throwing the ball for her, haven't we? Where is she gone? Hey, come here, Millie. Come here and I'll throw it for you again. Come on, let me throw. Where's she to? I think she's out. Oh, she's in the shade. She's having a lie down in the shade because she's hot. Hey, can you see that tiny ball there, aunties? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> can you see that tiny ball? You can stand on mummy's feet because you've got little booties on. If we take those off, then you can feel the grass between your toes, can't you? Hey? You want a drink, do you? Here comes Millie now. Hey, Millie, go get your ball. Go get your ball, Millie. Millie Knight, go get it. Here we are. We're on what's called in the UK a five van site. So there's only enough room for five caravans on here or motorhomes. Only five spots, only five spaces. And it's part of the caravan and motorhome club. So we got this last spot right next to this wildlife meadow. There is nothing on these sites except for where you, somewhere you can empty your waste and your water and fill up with fresh water and to put your rubbish as well. And then it's literally just in the side of this field. And then um, there's a pub across the road, a little bungalow next door, and that is it here in this area. You alright, Millie? You okay? So we've just been in stocked up with supplies. We've just been to Carlisle. So the first day, whenever we come away, we always stock up on supplies. Yes, I will give you a drink. Here you go. I'm going to drink some of mummies. They don't worry, aunties. It's just peach tea from Starbucks. Mm -mm, mm -mm, only a titchy bit. It's got lots and lots of ice in it. So too much caffeine for a real child, though. So take note. <laughs> She is just a reborn, in case you haven't guessed. <laughs> hey, yeah. So I'm not sure what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, maybe go to Gretna Green, which is where Russ and I got married. And Gretna Green is um, historic um, because it's just as you get over the border into Scotland and it's the place where you can marry at 16. So, years ago, before England allowed people to marry at 60. I don't even know if you can still do it now. Can you marry at 16 now? I can't remember. I think you might need your parents' consent up until 18. Anyway, you can come across, they would, people would elope, it's good, and they would come across and, um, <laughs> what are you doing? Are you sniffing? Will you come to say hello to Molly? Did you think it was Annie I had with me today? Um, people would come up to Scotland, kids would come up to Scotland to, and um, so they could get married at Gretna without parents' consent because you could get married at 16 at there. So it's like very historical place. Um, so yeah, that's where me and Russ got married because <laughs> we love Scotland anyway. And so we that's what we did. Um, so we might go there tomorrow for the visitor centre. The weather doesn't look great and the visitor centre is indoors. So we may well do that. I've wanted to do that for a long time. We, I think we popped in there once, but not for very long. And Russ doesn't mind anyway. He'll stay in the van if I want to go in because obviously we've got Millie. So we can't leave her in the van if it's hot. Um, but if the dogs are allowed, we will take her because she's very, very good. So... Um, can you see her? She's down here now. Are you going to pet her? And um, so we might do that tomorrow. And then another day we're going on a train. 
I want to go on a train journey, both of us, because it's got a lot of viaducts you go over and through a lot of tunnels. So it and the scenery up in the Yorkshire Dales, um, Lake District, I mean, sorry, is just lovely. So we do that. Um, there is a place where they've, they're holding a dig up here. I think I've already said that. Um, so I need to get looking and see where I want to go. I need to get re do some research on what I want to have a look at while I'm up here, really. Um, and I don't know if Russ will try and get in a flying lesson. He may try and get in a flying lesson while we're up here. And we will see his son. He'll come up and we'll meet him somewhere as well. Um, kind of like halfway between here in York where he lives. We will meet up with him, I think, one day too. So, But at the moment, just sitting outside on the, the sun loungers. Enjoying the sun. And now I'm going to take Missy's booties off and then she can enjoy the grass on her feet. Say, look at these feet in the sand. Look at my feet in the sand. No, look at those toes. Look at those toes. Look at those feet in the sand. Look at my toes. What about you, other one? Are you going to put him down? They, oh, now he's tickling. Oh, look at the blade. Look at the blade of glass. Grass. He's tickling you. Is he? Is he tickling your tootsie? <laughs> Is he tickling your tootsie? That little blade of glass. Grass. Glass. Grass. Say, it's not glass, it's grass round here, Molly. <laughs> You looking at Millie? Are you looking at Millie, dog? Say so today is the next day of our holiday, Auntie. Say hello, Aunties. I'm getting dressed. So I'm getting dressed today. Need your hair brushed as well, don't you? So we have sink wash. You must see you've had a sink wash. There's a hairbrush. The day weather today is not gonna be great. It's warm, but it's going to rain later. I don't think it's going to be pouring with rain all day. So I bought this a while ago at um, a market that me and Russ went to. And um, there were two ladies there selling Bits. I think I showed it to you because I bought some trousers as well and Annie had them on handmade trousers but um no you're not doing anything no and he's just been for a walk with Russ and Russ is now having his shower stop it and um but he thinks I'm talking to somebody that she needs to be talking with as well Hey, what do you think about that? Hmm? Yeah, you look at me like that. Hey, dog, stop making that squeaky noise. I was going to take this label. The label. I'm just trying to take the label off the dress. It is a first thing. Here's the dress. It's got doggies and pussy cats on it and mice. Nice fabric. It is double. It's not double lined here, but it's really nice cotton with a little care instruction label in it. And the bodice part of it is double. I mean, I could, I should get my sewing machine out and do it, shouldn't I? I haven't touched my sewing machine at all this year. That's because Bert's in the way. <laughs> Bert needs a backdrop painted for his home. He lives in a mountain area and it doesn't look like it much at the moment for him. So this is in um, 6 to 12. I think she needs a... a um, <laughs> you see yourself. Nice with just a cardigan on. 
because it's, it's a bit big shows a cloth body around her top and around her arms and if she had a vest on it wouldn't show that would it so, but we will be having to put a cardigan on because it's a bit chilly for little girls today yay there you go so it fits her very nicely yeah there we go and she's got a a reusable nappy on with lemons <laughs> today. <laughs> Yay. So you got a big bum. You got a big bum like your mum. I'll have to cut that label off. Little label there says handmade. But look at that fabric. It's so pretty. Dogs and cats. And the, where's the little mouse? There's a little mouse. But you see? It's a bit big under the arms. Well, it's not too big if you have a a real baby is it? it's just because ours have got buff bodies so I don't know whether to put a vest on underneath or not I don't think I will because I think we'll just put a cardigan on with you we've got your blue cardigan here haven't we so we can put the blue cardigan on and then it it won't show she had the pink cardigan on yesterday and she also had these little booties on that you will have seen in the haul from um, Next. They look so... I'm just so pleased with them because they fit her. They fit her so well. Keep her... Keep your feet warm, don't they? And you can spread your toes out. Yay! 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 There we go. So uh, I don't know what the time is. It's always a lazy. Mind you, we got up early this morning. It's quarter past eight. We got up early this morning. I don't know why. Do you know why? I don't know why. No, I don't. Oh, the hairbrush go. There it is. I've had this hairbrush for a long time. Yeah, brush your hair nicely. Quite wavy um, mohair, and the back is quite straight. And she's got this little bit here, and it's all like it's a all wavy. Look, you see, I look almost like a bold here. That's where you've been sleeping, isn't it? In the night, just do it very gently. Yeah, do it very gently. Do it. Look, it looks like a bold. <laughs> You're not bold, are you? You're not bold, see? Look, see, it looks like a bold. It's just because I swear it's all brushed. I'm trying to get you to sit down on my knee so I can see. So I can see. She's at the age where it kind of like needs some sort of style now. You know, where you just let the hair grow and see how we're see how we're going. It's sticking out all over the shop. I probably need to get a bit of a, a bit of water spray on it for. Okay. So I had my coffee outside this morning. It was very nice. So well, actually, it wasn't quite here last night because. Um, there's a pub opposite. I think I told you there's just a pub here. This is like a corner of a field where this van caravan park is. And um, there's a pub over there and then there's just a bungalow there. And the pub had a do on last night. It was busy up there. Well, we assumed it was busy because of how many cars were in a car park. And then, um, and then we heard the van playing and it played till quite late. But because it was so warm, we had the windows open of the caravan. Because it was so warm. You'd be a very good sat there, won't you? I'm just not sure because your hair is just goes all over everywhere. It goes all sorts of ways, doesn't it? Hey? <laughs> it does. It goes all sorts of ways, Addies. <laughs> we'll see where we are with it. Mm hmm Good 
do with like a little spritzer of, of, um, of water. I don't have one. I don't think I brought it with me. A little spritzer that I use. Got a little tough there, haven't you? Hey, Thea has grown all sorts of ways. Yeah, like it does on a little girl. You're such a little cutie. She's such a little cutie, Auntie. She really is. Cutie, aren't you? Yes, you are. <laughs> Right, I'll just show you in here because I know some of you will want to see. So you walk in and on the right is the sink unit and the stove top. We've got three gas rings and one electric. So here we're plugged into the electric so we use electric rings, save our gas. And we've got a grill there and the oven there and a little storage. And we've got storage here designed by designed by a man. Look at it, all those little holes that everything can fall through. Mm -hmm. And then this is the top that can go on um, the sink. Cutlery drawer. And then our other drawer with all our other bits and pieces in, saucepans and stuff, cleaning products. Oh, let's shut that a bit. We're not, we're very close to the Scottish border and we got some Scottish, Scottish, Scottish mozzies, <laughs> bit me last night. And then up here we've got a microwave, Russ has been using the microwave for his porridge this morning. And cupboard, this is where we keep all our plates and things. Okay, and so then, come on to the left, it is a bit messy because we have literally just got up. <laughs> well, I have, Russell's been up for ages. Um, yeah, so we've got the fridge here. The fridge runs on gas and one worktop. So we've got the TV, um, Molly's outside. This is a book I'm reading. This is my bag of tricks, all stuff that I um, like to have. Then it'll go all the way around, all around the top. We have cupboards. So I've been just getting Molly's stuff out. Molly's stuff's in this bag. So we've just been getting Molly stuff out, coats and things stay here all the time. Oh, what's in this one? This one's food. Molly's little biscuits, bless her. And this one's got my clothes in and some stuff there. And then this, it goes back to there. There's a gap in behind there. Same here, I won't show you. This is Russ's, Russ's stuff up here. So, and we've got our beds. Well, not our beds, our sofas. And then this pulls out. It makes one big bed. So when I was at Sheena's, you saw I just slept in this side. But me and Russ sleep, obviously sleep together. And then you pull, you use that one to slot in there. And that back to slot in there. And then it just makes that one big bed. And then underneath the beds are cupboards. Oh, I'm doing this one-handed. Look, I shouldn't be doing this one-handed. <laughs> oh, there it is. Under this drawer, we keep our um, outdoor chairs. And I don't know what's under there. Maybe water storage and stuff like that. And then we've got another drawer there, under there, which will keep things. And then three drawers there. I mean, two drawers there. And then... The table pours out a bit in the middle, which I love. So I sit this side usually, if you can see from my soft blankets and things. And Russ sits that side, nothing on Russ's side, see, so he doesn't need any. I have tons of soft blankets around my head and everything. Sorry to turn you around really fast. I know Auntie Anne doesn't like that. Heater. And then a really big cupboard. So me and Russ have both got hanging. There's our sleeping bag and then what happens after this after this holiday, I always wash all the sleeping bags after holiday. Sleeping bag and all the pillowcases and everything every holiday. And then this is one here is the bathroom. So it's very small, very compact, but it does its job. Toilet. And then when you want your shower, you pull the shower thing across. 
and it's a magnetic thing and then there's a the shower you have to hold on to the shower head so you only use as much water as you need you know water's protecting your water system because you've got to fill up your water outside and your waste everything so there we go so there's our little shower head yay your hair looks really really orange out in the sun really 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 orange hair say but i don't oh no i took your hat in didn't i we need a hat out here then say look what mummy found my first holiday t-shirt Woohoo! my first holiday yay <laughs> you don't want anything else on did you so we're gonna play with millie for a bit yeah where's millie hey where are you millie there you are there's Millie. She's come to say hello. She thinks you're Annie, doesn't she? Say hello, Millie. <laughs> hello, Millie. Whoa. <laughs> you think she's Annie? Where's your ball there, Millie? Where's your ball? Say, go find it, Millie. Where is it? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. The rain is coming. The rain is coming. That's because you've got your shades on. They don't. There's a chill wind. Park. Nope. Nope. Oh yeah, it's like fertilizer in there. Is it? Yeah. Uh, it's worth more my bloody truck with that fertilizer. You bet. Well, what's in there, slurry? Sorry? What's in there, slurry? Um, I think it could be. Looks like a road in a minute, isn't it? Yeah. Only got a few you know, years ago back onto the road. But... That's interesting, Noah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a whole lot. Wow. That's a new cut worth. It's a grass girl, I guess. Maybe it must be worth doing. Oh, yeah, back on a more normal looking road.
Ooh, there's some of that lovely beef crumb for me tasted, I expect. Mm. Fed up his lovely green grass, rather. Yeah. Silage all year round, things like that. Yeah. The corner mark, I said, it's probably this is why the gates all look the same. Because the cats will probably look after them, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, this one's correct, one, the others look the same. <laughs> that was an interesting little tour, wasn't it? It was, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Millie enjoyed that. She had a drink, she had a boot. Another gate. <laughs> this road looks much better. Yeah. Better drain. It's water. It's water that causes puddles. Water in the winter when it freezes. separate them because they're like no nah, that's it now you're out on your own kids nice little farmhouses and there's our cute little caravan and we have no neighbours today <laughs> I am. Because it is tiny. It's so cute. Millie knows where we are. Right, Millie. You were reversing his habit. Yes. What is it? You are very lucky. Aren't you? Hey, you very lucky girl. Yeah, got a treat. You have got a treat. You can take your glasses off indoors now. You can take those glasses off indoors. Well, yes, I know the sun is coming through. Ruth is having his shower, so he is going to video. And I'll show you this. This is her cup. You're going to want to drink, don't you? And then you can actually take out the bits of the cup to give it a good wash. There is, there's been, a, there was a thing a few years ago around about how the inside of it gets really mouldy. But honest to God it in the steriliser and clean it you can you can get little tiny brushes now that it will go down through these holes you see the error so you don't need to but then again a lot of um <coughs> a lot of these um cups now completely come apart so you can just fix it all back on there so you can have your drink lady and it's all clean but you know, you still, I would still sterilise it for little kids. Don't go like weeks without cleaning their cups out. Or just swilling them out, you know, get right in there and then there won't be. Because this bit around here doesn't come out. And so that would bother me. And so I would get a brush and go right in there. But anyway, 
this we've had this one a while oh i haven't put anything in it right, my mum will do that one and then you can see this can't you so we went to smith's toys luckily for me grumpy needed something in one of the shops that was near it and i was like oh there's smith's toys over there and he was like do you want to go in <laughs> silly question grumpy silly question Unfortunately, they play loud music, hence my voiceover in the video. But I got another one of these. Now, I've had it in my Amazon um, basket for ages and um, haven't clicked it out because it was, you know, 20 odd quid. But they had it half price. So we got it in there and it's the Linkamores. So you can link them up and they all sing. And now if you've been watching us for the last couple of years, you'll know that we got a few more of these. We got, who did we, who else have we got? We got, I don't know. I don't think we got any of the ones that are on there. We've got them when they first came out. So they had um, a moose. We got the little moose because I thought I'd get the little moose. The little moose was the cheapest. So we got him to try. And then we got, now I wanted to say it's the beaver, but it doesn't look like the beaver. So maybe it's the, an otter. But I like this one because this is a number one. I wanted to get this one. And then they do one that's shaped. So I think that's, yeah, polar bear. Polar bear is a shaped one. And I'd like to get that as well. Uh, my, um, my middle daughter just benefited from these so much. When she went to school, her... Um, when she first went to school, her phonics were awful. She really struggled. And um, so Granny went out and bought her something like this. So this is back in nineteen, middle of the 90s. Granny went out and bought her something like this. And we used it and we were, you know, we spent a lot of time with her. And this is the one that now has her own library. <laughs> Rather than, you know, she has a spare room, but it's her library. So here we go. We bought you one because you like the other one, don't you? They like, they love the, um, I think it's the otter. I don't think it's a beaver, but it could be a beaver. Who knows? Remember when we get home. And this one's the whale. Look at it. Are you excited? You excited to take your glasses off? Yeah, there you go. Wow. Is this something for you to 